the Bit Summit X Road. Japan is still under travel restriction. You can see still a lot of people actually managed to come here. Let's check out the games. This game is called Tokyo Stories, and it's a story of a young man who is going to play a game in Tokyo. I'm going to play a game in Tokyo. I'm going to play a game in Pixel Art. I'm going to play a game in Pixel Art. I'm going to play a game in Pixel Art. I'm going to play a game in Pixel Art. で物語としてはその主人公の女の子が、えー、親友の黄色い女の子を探しにこの誰もいなくなっちゃった東京にやってくるっていうお話を考えてますそれなんで目標としては親友を探すで親友を見つけて彼女が何でここに来てしまったのかを、えー、理解した上で、まあ、一緒に帰るのか、えー、彼女とどうするのかっていうのをそこで選択していくみたいなゲームを考えています、はい uh, I'm、Jay. Um... I'm one half of Python Studio, um, and I'm the lead artist and writer on Kasepis, which we uh, we've brought here to uh, Bit Summit today. Um, so Kasepis is uh, an open-world um, RPG. It's about it's a, set in a world where um, people use cassette players to transform into monsters and battle. Um, you find yourself on this island, and you um, have to kind of find your way off, and you make friends, and you like. Record monsters and transform into them and uncover secrets. You know we like uh, pixel art games and we like classic, you know, like RPGs and classic adventure games. And the kind of the cassette is also quite retro. And we liked the idea of tying something very like digital uh, retro with uh, like something very physical retro. People seem to be enjoying it so far. I think um, RPGs are quite hard to demo because there's like story and things to learn, uh, and they can be quite long. Um, but the reception has been really positive so far, so we've been really, you know, excited to see how things have gone. 那个大家好，我是那个冒险角酒馆的刘博文。然后那个我们现在正在开发一款以这个女仆咖啡为店为主题的一个经营类的一个游戏，还原这个日本大阪日本桥的一个就是电器街的一个街道，呃，而且是用像素风格去表现的。对。感觉这几天在这个展的感觉如何？是还挺受欢迎的一个展台。嗯，对我们蛮火爆的，可能是就是做了一个比较比较性感的一个海报吧。然后就很多玩家都过来试玩啊，然后来关注我们的推特啊，然后来试玩我们的游戏，然后反响还挺好，挺好的。对 ，Gamera Games is a publisher. We publish games all over the world, and we have、uh, titles from many developers. Some of them are from China and other parts. So right here, it's a Super Alloy Ranger. This game is gonna release in、uh, this year. Hopefully, it's gonna release in Steam, and it's a game that draws a lot of inspiration from、uh, Rockman or Mega Man.、Uh, this game also looks like in the boss scenes. You can see it looks a little bit like Metal Slug. So yeah, this game has been very popular recently, and you you can choose between、uh, one of these characters, and depending on the character you choose, you're gonna, they're gonna have a different. Play style, a different fighting style. So yeah, it's really cool. I'm excited. There's a lot of people. I suppose I'm not used to this many people anymore, but you get used to it quite quickly. There are a few, there are a few games that you really have to wait long for, but if you then walk around, you can actually then easily go into other games. So yeah,、um, this is the first time we've been to Japan,、um, so it was a you know big travel from、uh, England.、Um, it's a really great event. I really like how you know it's an event that supports really small teams, like teams smaller than ours,、um, who are just like one man operations. Um, but at the same time, you still have like the Nintendo booth is here, so the biggest published, the biggest parts of the game industry here, and the smallest parts. And I think that makes it kind of feel very unique and special. And I really like that. Okay, so actually, this is our second time in、uh, in Bit Summit.、Uh, we're also going to other events in、uh, Japan, like Tokyo Game Show. 
And yeah, it's always it's always great to be in Bit Summit. A lot of indie games. We're an indie game publisher, so we love it here. Yeah. えっと、ビットサミット、久しぶりにこうたくさんの一般客が来て、すごく楽しんでます。